All right, Spaniard Northwest Fight Scene, sitting here with Strike Force fighter Benji Raddick. Benji, we're in the lab, Lou's training facility here in Anaheim. Uh, tell me what you do here. This is the torture chamber. Uh, you know, Lou Smith uh, pretty much turned my career around. You know, um, I've, done, I've done well in the, in the, in the fight scene, but, uh, you know, I'm stepping it up uh, conditioning wise and, uh, and strength wise. You know, when I first came in here, I was uh, feeling like I was going to puke every station, and uh, now, now I'm getting to the point where I'm getting through it all. And, you know, doing lots of pad work in here and stuff, and I think uh, that's going to turn my, uh, my fighting in a, a lot more dangerous situation. Now, um, you had some time off, you had some injuries, you had some surgeries, talk about that. I uh, tore my pec, tore my pec from the bone. Uh, well, you know, the Scott Smith fight first. I broke my hand in the first round, got a, a metal plate and seven screws put in my, my hand, and then I was getting ready for another fight. Uh, I didn't know who was going to fight yet, but it was last April, and I tore my pec. The peg actually completely came off the bone, balled up in the, in the center of my chest. Um, my whole arm was twitching and shaking. And, uh, it, was, it was a really bad tear. Tore the belly of it, tore it from the bone, and then uh, so I had to have them make an incision, go back in, pull the peg over, drill holes in the bone, and then they weave the uh, wire through the, through the end of the muscle, put it through the bone, through the holes, tied it on the back side of the bone, and then sewed it back up. Then I got a, I got a bad staph infection. Horribly, and I had to fight that. I had to pack it with gauze, about you know, two feet of gauze every night. Spray brown iodine in there, pack it with gauze, pull it out. It was miserable. So now I'm back, getting, getting strong. Lou's Lou's uh, putting putting the grindstone on me here, and uh, it's it's it's, uh, it's working. So what do you what did you do mentally, I and mean, what is it like for you? I mean, obviously you train hard, you're used to that, and then bam, you're down or off or not training. Or what did you do mentally? You know, it's been kind of my whole career. You know, going fighting through uh, a lot of trials and tribulations and injuries, and uh, uh, it's just a, a, another another road bump, you know. And um, stepping over it and, and uh, getting stronger, and, and uh, I think we're going to see a different Benji Raddick when I, when I step in there. So, um, talk about what's coming up for you. Well, uh, they were going to do the Strike Force Middleweight Tournament uh, in October October 9th, but uh, I guess uh, Jacare and, and uh, Dan Henderson, I heard, uh, didn't want to do the, the tournament, so. They uh, ended up scrapping that, and they're doing single single fights now. So um, I don't know who I'm fighting, but uh, it's going to be the next big show after the October October 9th, so November or early December. I think the same show as uh, Dan Henderson, Bob Lou are fighting. So, um, so how do you feel? You're in your training. So I feel great. Feel? I've never felt stronger and, and more confident uh, in my life. So now now I'm just going to get my body to where I think it's already to where I left off. You know, now I'm to overcome that. Um, you know, and start making. It makes it into sparring and stuff here in the next next month or so. But just right now, I'm concentrating, uh, you know, right here at Lou's and get my body uh, prepared where, where I need to be. And uh, uh, Oscar Muniz is in here and, and really put pressure on me with the mitts. And uh, like you saw today, we did a bunch of uh, you know three five minute rounds and pretty intense. And it's uh, it's, it's getting me where I need to be. So has Strikeforce talked about any possible opponents, maybe? Uh, they're talking. Uh, yeah, I've heard a few different things. You know, I heard Robbie. Of I'm sure they want to put me against another slugger because that's what creates a good, a good fight. Um, you know, uh, there's no men hobby. There's a ton of guys at 185, you know. There's a ton, ton, ton of badasses. So I'm excited to be in Strike Force just because of that. I think we got a, a, a more rugged 185 pound division than, than actually UFC does. You know, I know, I know UFC's got some tough guy, top guys, and Anderson Silva, of course, and Chael. But, you know, we got a huge, solid group at, at Strike Force, so I'm happy to be here. Awesome. Well, hey, I appreciate the interview. Thanks for letting me come into your training facility. Anybody you'd like to thank for the interview? Yeah, I just want to thank uh, you know Lou and, and uh, Oscar and uh, Tap Out and Metal Militia. They've really uh, stuck on my side and, and helped me through these bad times and haven't fought you know since uh, you know a year and a half or so. So you know they stuck on my side while I was uh, down and now I'm gonna pay them back here soon. Awesome. Well, you heard it here in Northwest Fight Scene, Razor Spaniard. Thanks.